okay. So the next revelation is actually Laureen's favorite. Uh, quality score is factored in aggressively when Google is deciding what ads appear above the search results. So the space above the organic search results has an even higher click-through rate and even more attention from users than the top position on the right side. So it definitely is premium space. And if you want that premium placement, you need to have a particularly high quality score or else you're going to be pushed over to the right side. This is the type of advertising that we're talking about. It's still clearly labeled as sponsored links, but because it's right above the organic results, typically users of Google pay more attention to it, a higher click-through rate. What goes on is that there's a formula that Google uses to determine who gets those top placement positions. And the key word that we would use would be threshold. Here we have an example where we have several advertisers, and this comes pretty much right from a, a Google help document. Um, in this case, Herb is the person that we're going to concentrate on, and his uh, max CPC bid times his quality score gives him an ad rank of five, and that puts him above the threshold needed to be on the first page above the, the results. Um, the ad rank would be, in this case, the quality score times the, the bid. Oh, that's simple. Okay. Yeah. And the, the, the threshold varies from keyword to keyword? So great. So well, that's um, simple. If we if we move on, it's kind of interesting to see how this works when it's actually deployed, which I guess really isn't uh, central to quality score. But I think people will find it interesting because it in and of itself is a revelation. There's actually a rotation that Google uses for all ads that exceed that quality score threshold. Page one, here we're seeing uh, that there are three ads above the threshold, but on the previous page we saw that four advertisers actually uh, exceeded the threshold. What really happens is that on page two, number four position is repeated as being above the... Oh, okay. And then it continues with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then on the next page, what you're going to see is that the top three will repeat above the threshold. And then it goes from 11 to 12, 13, 14 um, after it. So that's a, a pretty amazing way of uh, dealing with the those top spaces. So once you get that premium placement based on your quality score, and your ad rank, you are good as gold in some ways. You're going to, you, you are really getting a premium situation. You get, and you, so you're getting a disproportionate share of impressions on page, on subsequent pages when you do that. Yes, yes. Very interesting. I didn't know that. This one's my favorite because um, it really demonstrates the importance of a high quality score. And in the example, those top four ads, uh, because of their high quality score, they'll get to be shown on more than just the first page above the search results. So that's always beneficial. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thanks, Lorraine. Mm -hmm. All right. So only the, the <laughs> top tier people are going to surpass that threshold. What did you do with these rocket clouds? That's funny. <laughs> we have fun with what we do. 
do. Okay, I think we can go on to number six then. Revelation number six is that even if page rank, which is uh, an SEO term, doesn't directly affect the quality score, SEO and TPC are growing toward each other. Organic page rank seems to factor into quality score, but Google clearly says it doesn't. So it's kind of a gray area. What really, what gives? Well, the way that we would clarify would be that what rewards organic placement increasingly rewards landing page quality score too. So the sorts of things that you do to get out of the bind when you have a low page, or a low landing page quality score are the same sorts of things that naturally make you more attractive in Google's eyes for for SEO purposes too. So and go ahead, Glenn. I can hear you with an idea. Oh, I was just I was just going to restate what you're saying that the formulas are very similar, but they don't impact each other. Right. Yeah. So that's actually just about what I was going to say next, which is that PageRank doesn't factor into quality score itself, but similar things from PageRank going to quality score. Gotcha. Um, and here's one of the things that I find, you know, uh, as support right in Google's world, if you were to ask them how to improve your site's performance in uh, Google search results, for a long time they pointed you towards Google's webmaster guidelines. And I noticed at the end of last year that if landing page quality was an issue, Google gives you all these recommendations, and one of them is, hey, why don't you go check out Google's webmaster guidelines, which is the same thing as they do for SEO. So there's no way you can say that SEO and PPC aren't dovetailing at some point, you know, in some some area. It's a really good point. Matter. Yeah, that uh, it's not really called page rank. It's, it's, you know, there are different factors involved, but those relevance factors that they're looking at in um, uh in uh, landing pages and are definitely you know related to the things that they're they're looking at in general when they're rating the web that's out there. Gotcha. Very good. How about number seven? Well, first we have to send off this rock. <laughs> says that Google always wants you to focus on what's good for users, not what's good for the search engines. Themselves. Right. Or like David Bullock says he um, is more interested in the users because spiders can't buy anything. Number seven. Revelation seven is that it's exact match CTR that matters the most. And I don't know how many people know this, but it's pretty important that the, to the extent that CTR matters in quality score, it's always exact match clicks over exact match impressions. This is true at the account level. This is true at the keyword level. Um, and a lot of people don't realize it. So this is why negatives, while they help your account and help your profitability, negative keywords don't help your quality score. Yes, they can increase the CTR that's reported, but that is for your broad and phrase uh, match terms, not for your exact match terms. Hey, uh, so is your, is there ever a situation where your broader phrase matched term, like if you had roofing and then roofing in exact, exact match, you know, roofing without anything and then roofing broad match versus roofing exact match. Is there ever a situation where those would have two different quality scores? Um, they shouldn't. Uh, that's a good question. And I actually wrote that down as something to ask uh, uh, our Google reps. I haven't seen them reported as different, but I could peel through some pages and see if. I, I haven't seen them reported as different either, and it matches what you're saying. So if I'm bidding on the keyword roofing as a broad match and I've got a quality score of eight and then um, somebody types in roofing Milwaukee, Google, does Google take into account the 